Hey, what's up, YouTube's me, Andrew here. Today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS device while using a backup without having the boot loop issue. Now, many of you guys want the latest jailbreak, but hate the fact that you have to reinstall all your apps, lose your camera roll, and lose your text messages, for example. So today, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS 8 device using Pongu 1.1.0. All right, let's get started. So right now, we're in the boot loop issue. As you can see here, this iPhone 6 will not boot up using the Pongu 1.1.0 jailbreak with a backup with Find My iPhone and Touch ID enabled. If you're stuck in the boot loop, simply plug in your iOS device into a computer with iTunes installed and enable DFU mode. To enable DFU mode, the first thing you want to do is hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Alright, let's get started. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and release. Continue holding the home button for 10 seconds. And then you'll get an alert on your laptop showing you that you're in DFU mode. And there it is. Next up, restore your iOS device to 8.1. After restoring your device, you may be asked to activate your iPhone if you had Find My iPhone enabled. Do not jailbreak your device yet. Let's go ahead and set it up. Let's enable location services, set up as new iPhone. Skip this step. Let's go ahead and agree to the terms. Agree. Set up Touch ID later. Don't add passcode. We'll add that in later. Let's use Siri. Don't send diagnostic. Choose your display zoom. And let's get started. You're probably wondering, should I jailbreak next? No. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and back up your device with the latest backup you have. To restore your backup, simply connect to iTunes and select Restore Backup. In the past, you would always jailbreak first and then restore your backup. But for some reason, Pongu 1.1.0 and Cydia 1.1.15 is causing the boot loop issue when doing this method. After the restore is complete, let's go ahead and go through the initial setup once again. Let's set up Touch ID later. Do not add passcode. Continue. And get started. At this point, just let iTunes back up all your data completely without jailbreaking. We'll get to that step next. And finally, we get to jailbreak the device using Pongu 1.1.0. Let's go to our Windows machine here and start the Pongu jailbreak. Make sure the airplane mode is on before proceeding. At the time of this video, the Mac version is not available. However, the Pongu team has announced they are working on it soon. After the jailbreak is complete, go ahead and launch City and let it prepare your file system. This usually takes about a minute or two. Alright, to test to see if we still have the boot loop issue, let's go and enable Touch ID and Find My iPhone. Let's go ahead and activate it and go ahead and allow. Let's go ahead and restart the iPhone. Still booting up. We're at the final stage. And we're done. As you can see here, the passcode is on and it's working fine. There goes all my apps restored, just like the way it was. Let's go ahead and launch Cydia. It's fully operational. Let's check the home page. Let's test out Touch ID next. And boom, it's working. Hopefully this method works out for you guys. After countless restores last night, I was able to figure out a way to restore your backup without having the boot loop issue with Find My iPhone and Touch ID enabled. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe for more content just like this one. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.